Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. The NTSB uses drones to investigate the King Air crash. North Dakota DOT receives four-year federal waiver to fly drones over people. And Fluidity's FT Aviator drone controller is taking flight. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. The NTSB is using drones to investigate the crash of a Beach Super King Air 350 in Addison, Texas, which killed all eight passengers and the two crew members on board. Just as it was lifting off the runway, the airplane veered left and crashed into a hangar, where a fire broke out after the impact. Witness Peter Drake said he watched the airplane climb to about 200 feet and then begin to lose altitude before it rolled over and came straight down into the hangar. Two airplanes stored in the hangar were also damaged according to the NTSB's Bruce Landsberg. A video package supplied to the media by the NTSB shows drones working aggressively to provide data and high resolution imagery to the agency. You can see NTSB staffers flying a survey pattern over the hangar, as well as shots of the drone in action and footage captured by the drone. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a quick look at some stories making rounds in the unmanned vehicle communities. The Center for Innovative Technology announced the first in a series of regional UAS public safety-focused workshops, which are presented by the Virginia Center for Unmanned Systems and the Office of the Secretary of Public Safety and Homeland Security. The workshops hope to provide localities with the proper education on rules and regulations regarding deploying UAS, as well as determine the resources needed for local police and fire departments to establish UAS programs. Drone manufacturer XAG demonstrated its drone-based smart agricultural solutions at the third Drone World Congress held in Shenzhen, China, in conjunction with the fourth Shenzhen International UAV Expo. XAG has developed its own patented agricultural drones, sensors, and other digital formatting tools for precision spraying, granule spreading, and mapping. To date, XAG has conducted UAV plant protection services on over 14.8 million acres of farmland. The Flight Wave Edge UAS is a light tactical drone of choice for the Milton, a firm formed by former French Army Special Forces member that focuses on technological innovations to strengthen war fighters' capabilities at home and in the field. Milton is actively offering the Flight Wave Edge UAS to its military and first responder clients. U.S. Secretary of Commerce Wilbert Ross has announced the Department's Economic Development Administration is awarding a $1.3 million grant to the Huma Terrebonne Airport Commission to make infrastructure improvements needed to establish an unmanned aviation system facility at the airport. The project to be matched with $337,500 in local funds is expected to help create 150 jobs retain 70 jobs, and generate $50 million in private investment. Now back to the rest of the news. The North Dakota Department of Transportation has received a four-year waiver from the FAA to operate UAS over people. This is the first time a North Dakota state agency has received a waiver to routinely conduct UAS operations over people using a drone. In this case, a DJI Mavic 2 series equipped with a Parazero Safe Air Parachute Recovery System. FAA approved the waiver and UAS operations over people as part of North Dakota's integration pilot program. North Dakota DOT and the Northern Plains UAS test site are working together with partners and stakeholders to accomplish North Dakota's UAS pilot program mission to provide operational efficiencies, create new opportunities, build industry to grow the economy, and reduce traffic fatalities and serious injuries. North Dakota's UAS integration pilot program gives state, local, and tribal governments a chance to establish innovation zones for testing complex UAS operations. Drone pilots from experts to novices can now fly with greater ease, precision, and confidence with Fluidity Tech's FT Aviator. 
Fluidity's uniquely designed drone controller intuitively unlocks the human potential for drone flight with a more natural and exacting way of piloting. Traditional gaming style two-thumbed controllers are harder to master and make it more difficult to obtain quality imagery while flying in dynamic, unscripted environments. Scott Parazinski, founder and CEO, said, Putting control back in your hands, that's the FT Aviator, something that anyone could pick up and use. I was working in a surgical robotics lab and noticed how clunky the controls were. I just thought, there's got to be a better way to move through space than this. An intuitive single-handed controller that enables up to six degrees of freedom through any physical or virtual space. More natural, accessible, and fun way of piloting. And that's it for us today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And for more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to AUVSI.org or airborne-unmanned.net. I'll see you tomorrow.